to Gameplay First, where fun is second to none. My name's Tyler, and I like watching robots beat the crap out of each other. That'll probably be used against me out of context when the machines take over. Anyway, this week I'm reviewing Transformers Fall of Cybertron for Xbox 360, PS3, and PC. Now this game is the sequel to Transformers War for Cybertron. The original game was absolutely fantastic, but could the sequel possibly live up to its predecessor? I mean, the first game was good, but this isn't going to be like an updated version of the 80s cartoon, right? <laughs> okay, maybe it is. The story begins right after the previous game left off. The Autobots have decided to leave Cybertron, as the war between the two factions has exhausted the planet's supply of Energon, the life-giving substance that powers their race. The Autobots did try to find alternative energy sources, though. They experimented with solar power, wind power, and, of course, the power of love. Unfortunately, all of this proved incompatible with their systems, so leaving Cybertron to find new sources of Energon became their only option. The story of the game is absolutely fantastic and just screams Transformers all over. This is what the Transformers movie should have been like. Michael Bay should be paying attention because High Moon just told the story of Transformers perfectly. By the way, while I'm talking Transformers, I think I'll go ahead and review the Transformers Dark of the Moon tie-in game. There, two reviews for the price of one. Now just for the record, I played using the PC controls with the keyboard and the mouse because frankly, I suck at playing any sort of game where you need to aim accurately when I have to use a controller. Give me a mouse and keyboard, but have me use a controller, so yeah. The gameplay is basically the same as the last one with some notable changes. For instance, now you can press a button to change the hand that you're wielding a weapon with, allowing you to aim more quickly and efficiently. The game's still very fast-paced and fun, and although some of the segments are kind of standard for a shooter, there are parts like where you play as Cliff Jumper or Jazz, where the gameplay has changed from the direct approach to using stealth, or grappling around and taking pop shots at enemies. That is supremely fun, and the dialogue for each character is exactly as we've come to know and love them without sounding corny or dated. This game is just an improvement in general. The levels are bigger, there's legitimate vehicle sections, and the playable characters are not only numerous, but they're exactly who you'd want to play as. Optimus Prime, Megatron, Bumblebee, Jazz, Cliffjumper, Soundwave, Starscream, and a whole lot more. High Moon went all out to include as many characters as they could here, and the effort really shows. Hell, we've even got Dinobots in the game! We get to play as freaking Grimlock! And now it's time for the breakdown! First, gameplay. 8 out of 10. It's fantastically fun. Some of the earlier segments are a little bit standard for shooters, but the later segments where you get to play as different characters, it becomes way more varied and interesting. And I personally had the most fun playing as Jazz. The game looks great. The character designs are polished, metaphorically speaking. Everything about the world is amazing, and even Cybertron itself feels like it's alive, metaphorically speaking. 8 out of 10. Now, I would have given audio a little bit of a lower score, but... They included a gun in the game called the Throwback Blaster. Now, although the gun is kind of useless in and of itself, it does change all of your character's sound effects to effects from the original 80s TV show. Everything from transforming to the lasers themselves. Because of that, I'm going to bump up the score to a 7 out of 10. The story is absolutely phenomenal. It is written like an episode of the 80s cartoon show, updated with modern graphics and action sequences. Everything about it was fantastic. Any Transformers fan would love it. And as a Transformers fan, I really wanted to see what would happen next. The only problem is that if you're not a Transformers fan, you're probably not going to care, which is the only reason I'm not going to give it a perfect score. 9 out of 10. Put it all together and Transformers Fall of Cybertron gets an 8.5 out of 10. It's a game for fans of Transformers, so if you are a fan, 
You'll love this game. I highly recommend it. Go get it. If you're not, maybe skip this one unless you want to play the multiplayer mode with your friends. Thanks for watching, guys. For Gameplay First, this is Tyler, signing off. Roll out! Note to self, don't eat the props. Especially when they've been sitting in the pantry for a couple months.